All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be answering Arumi Segal's question. So she's asking, I recently ran my first ad. I created a campaign for ads that's targeting different audiences and then I made one ad for each. I now wanna, wanna test a different ad for the same four audiences. Do I do that within the same ad set or do I create a new campaign? Okay, so assuming that for the four audiences you tested worked, which is great, then just simply duplicate the same ad and make the changes you want to make. So don't, don't make the changes to the initial ad you're running. You want to create a new ad by duplicating it and making the changes. Make sure you only do one change because we always want to be split testing only one variable. In this case, we already split tested, you already split tested the, the interests. And uh, now if you want to split test the ad, split this one thing at a time. So for example, you may split this the image, you may want to split this the headline, the description, um, whatever it is that you want to split test. So basically one thing at a time, because if not, if you split test, for example, two variables like the headline and the copy, then you're not going to know which, which of those costs like the improvement or, or cost the ad to perform worse. Um, so that's pretty much how you do it. You do it inside the ad level, not at the ad set level. And generally, like if you if you test multiple ads inside the same ad set, just one or two are the are the ones that are gonna pick up. Actually, in my experience, it's most of the time just one. It's gonna pick up most of the traffic because it's the one that's most relevant to Facebook. So Facebook is gonna like automatically optimize this for you. Um, if you don't, if some of your ads don't get don't get much traffic, it's because one that's receiving all the traffic is the most relevant for your audience and it's gonna, Facebook automatically knows this. Um, you can also, there are other ways like testing another ad with the same audience, duplicating the ad set and in one, one ad set will have one ad and the other ad set will have the other ad. But honestly, that's just uh, over complicating stuff. What you wanna do is just inside the ad level, duplicate it as many times as you want. I don't suggest you test like 20 ads at the same time, test three, four or five ads uh, because it's gonna be more like, more fair for the ads to compete against each other and see which one is the best one. So that's just from my experience. Um, it's great that you run your first ad. Uh, the, the hardest thing I think it's just taking that leap of faith, taking action initially for you to start seeing how what works, what doesn't. And don't worry if this campaign doesn't work because it's just your first one. Um, when you try something new, most of the times you will not figure it out from the start. Uh, so don't worry if, the, if it doesn't work, if it did, Awesome, I, con I congratulate you and I congratulate you in general for taking action, but um, don't be such attached to the outcome. Just know that you're still learning, that you're, that you're taking action and as long as you keep taking action, keep learning, you're gonna get amazing results. So that's pretty much how you do it. Ever me, I hope this answered your question. If you have any more or anyone else watching this video, make sure you type them in the comments below. I'll record a video personally, answer your question and I'll see you in the next one. All right, so if you got value out of this video and want to learn more, simply click on the link below or go to estebangomez.net forward slash course where you're going to get access to my Facebook advertising one-on-one course. It's going to teach you all the fundamentals from A to C on how to launch your first successful campaign. Everything from how to do market research, how to do audience research, how to create an ad and how to launch your first successful Facebook campaign. So if this is something you're interested in, simply click on the link below this video or go to estebangomez.net forward slash course and I'll see you on the inside.